the hypest episode of My Hero so far, overused tropes aren't a problem at all, as long as you have perfect execution. Deku has truly grown into a hero. The whole fight and the sequence of events was a little cheesy, but the way it was presented and executed was so emotionally powerful and left pretty much everyone in a state of bliss. And the whole build-up was just done so right with Kota's cynical and jaded views of heroes at the beginning, which obviously changed after seeing Deku go through what he had to go through in order to save Kota. If you just walk up to a stranger and try to help them, they're not going to want to hear a word you say. And I feel like that's kind of a jab at all shonen in general. Horikoshi was very self-aware in that moment when he wrote that line for Todoroki. Shonen have stuff like that to where the MCs or characters in a series will talk with an individual to change them just like that, and then everything's, you know, hunky-dory after that. The series breaks the genre's mold. After impressively analyzing the situation logically, he realized that there was no other choice than to fight and defeat the monster. And I think the key point here is that Deku thinks that trying is more important than the result. He pulls out his 1 million percent smash, which actually isn't 1 million percent. The author himself has came out to state that he had Deku say that just to pump himself up. It could not get more perfect than that. The villains play an absolutely crucial role in the story. If Boku no Hero focused mostly on the lives of high school students who are trying to become pro heroes but never had to face off against real villains, the story would be completely different. While I know that a lot of you guys really like the tournament arc, I personally always loved the villain centric arcs the most. The villains in Boku no Hero are all very different. So, on the one hand, we have bad people who want to do bad things, but on the other hand, we have villains like Stain, who are driven by a clear ideology. Stain is such a powerful and influential presence as a villain that he actually inspires a bunch of other villains to follow in his footsteps. The villains in Boku no Hero parallel the criminals in our own world, and we can imagine that if we lived in a world with quirks, these types of villains might really appear. It's not that far-fetched.